reading Shiro Fujioka back again with another Hydrosyn tutorial. In this episode, we're going to do a patch from scratch and we're going to break it down into five easy steps. We're going to do some waveform animation, envelope shaping, filters. We're going to mess with the mod matrix. We're going to do some macro assigning. Um, you know what? Let me shut up and just get into it. Alright, let's get started with this tutorial. So to begin, we're going to select our waveform. So click oscillator 1. And we're going to change this to wave scan mode. And we're going to click to enter our wave list. And we're going to start filling these banks with waveforms. So just turn the encoder and we can select the waveforms um, sequentially. Go to the next one. Pick a random waveform, whatever we want. Um, alternatively, you can hold the random button and click and you can randomly select a waveform to fill the slot. So we'll do that. Alright, so now we have all these filled. I'm just going to scan through these manually. And what we're going to do after this is make our LFO scan through these waveforms. So we're going to go to the mod matrix and then we're going to hold LFO5 and oscillator 1. Now those two things are patched and we're going to dial this to wave scan and then our depth, we're going to dial in the strength of how much that LFO scans through the waveforms. It's a little fast so I'm going to dial down the rate of the LFO so go to LFO5 and then we're going to dial down the rate so it scans through the wave waveforms a little slower. All right, so that's part one. Let's move forward. Okay, moving forward. So what we're going to do now is start shaping the envelope. And basically what that does is it tells the pad how to respond to touch. So go to envelope 2, and we're going to start dialing in the release. And what that does is it tells, tells us how long we want the sound to play after we release our finger from the pad. Okay, I'm going to dial down the sustain a little bit, and I'm going to mess with the decay. We have a nice percussive sound. also do is mess with the attack and make the sound softer so it's not as percussive for more like droney stuff. But I, th I, I want to go with more of a percussive sound for, for the attack so we're going to dial it back. Alright, let's keep it moving. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to start messing with the filter so we can shape and sculpt our sound a little bit further. So go to the filter one page and go to the filter controls and we're going to start messing with the cutoff. Okay, let's dial in some resonance and... Um, you know, again, this is not, this is art, not science, so just experiment. There's no wrong way to do this. Just do what sounds good to you and express yourself. <laughs> actually, it's actually art and science, so actually, let me shut up and just play. So what we're going to do now is dial in LFO1 and have that automate the cutoff of the filter. So 
So that rate's a little fast for me, so we're going to go to LFO 1, and then we're going to dial down the rate. Okay, so now we have our waveform moving, and it's animated, it has life, so we're going to move on to the next step of the tutorial. Okay, moving on. This is the hydrosynth, so how can we not put poly after touch in a patch? So hit mod matrix, and we're gonna go to assign, and we're looking for poly after touch. There we go. And we are gonna patch that to filter one, um, yeah, filter one cutoff. And we'll dial in the depth. Actually, I'm gonna go negative, and um, yeah, we're just gonna experiment see what we come up with all right now that we have that set up we'll move on to the last step All right, let's add some effects to this patch and um, then we'll work on a macro and we'll be done. So we're gonna click delay. Then we're gonna dial in our wet dry so we can start hearing the effect. And then we're just gonna tweak the controls until we get it sounding the way we want it to sound. Okay, so I'm going to turn down the wet dry of this now, and then we're, what we're going to do is we're going to connect the wet dry of the delay to a macro on the master controls. So click macro assign, then we're going to click macro one, and click assign, then we're going to go to delay. Let's see, I have surpassed it. Okay, delay, and then we're going to go to the wet dry. And we're going to dial in a value. And now that macro is connected to the wet dry of the delay. We can access it from macro one. That's pretty much it for this episode. Um, at this point, just you know, have fun and tweak the controls, add different elements, and um, I'll be back with another episode of, of this ongoing series of Hydrosynth patches. So stay tuned for more, and thanks for tuning in.